get caught up with one of Marvel's greatest heroes, the Black Panther. From his homeland of Wakanda to key characters from the new movie, this is your ultimate A to Z guide to everything Black Panther. Enjoy the list? Click subscribe! Now let's dive right in. I am not my father. The task force will decide who brings in Barnes. Don't bother Ms. Romanov. I'll kill him myself. A is for assassination. In Captain America Civil War, T'Challa's father's assassination transforms him into a king and begins his journey back to Wakanda. In various forms of the Black Panther, his father has been killed by enemies like Manape and Claw. The Black Panther has been the protector of Wakanda for generations. A mantle passed from warrior to warrior. B is for Black Panther. It's more than just a superhero name. Black Panther represents the top rank in Wakanda. The chosen Black Panther gets to eat the heart-shaped herb which gives the hero his powers and abilities. I suppose neither of us is used to the spotlight. Oh, well, it's not always so flattering. You seem to be doing all right so far. C is for Chadwick Boseman. Before starring in his solo Black Panther movie, Chadwick Boseman turned heads by playing both Jackie Robinson and James Brown in two great biopics. Now he is one of the top actors in Marvel. Not too shabby. Move, or you will be moved. As entertaining as that would be. D is for Dora Milaje. The all-female bodyguards of the Black Panther offer protection and incredible warrior skills. One of them even tried to step up against Black Widow in Captain America Civil War. I waited my entire life for this. The world's gonna start over. I'm gonna burn it all. E is for Eric Killmonger. Played by Michael B. Jordan, Eric Killmonger grew up hating Black Panther after his family was exiled from Wakanda. Chances are he's looking for revenge rather than a friendly reconnection. So I ask you, as both warrior and king, how long do you think you can keep your friend safe from me? F is for First African American. In 1966, the Black Panther debuted in an issue of Fantastic Four and became the first mainstream African American superhero. He is now one of the most beloved heroes in Marvel lore. Tell me something. What do you know about Wakanda? G is for Georgia. The nation of Wakanda looks beautiful and foreign, but don't start booking a travel agent just yet. A lot of the movie was filmed on sound stages in Georgia. Some of the city scenes were captured in South Korea. Tell me, Captain America, is it really your shield? H is for heightened senses. One of Black Panther's powers is heightened senses. Like Spider-Man, he can detect danger, has a keen sense of smell, and combines it all with super strength and agility. Evacuate the city. Engage our defenses. I is for Infinity War. Before Black Panther is even released, we have an Infinity War trailer where it's clear the battle rages on in Wakanda. Expect a lot of build-up to this war within post credit scenes of Black Panther. Don't freeze. I never freeze. J is for Jungle Action. A number of Black Panther stories appeared in the Marvel series Jungle Action. The series originally featured heroes like Jungle Boy and Leopard Girl before getting relaunched with a Black Panther story arc. Eventually, Black Panther got his own series and is often a supporting character in comics like The Avengers. Not that afraid. Everybody is afraid of something. Cuttlefish. Deep sea fish. They make lots, disco lots, <laughs> to hypnotize their prey, and then K is for Claw. One of Black Panther's biggest foes, Claw, had his arm sliced off by Ultron, but appears to come back with a vengeance in Black Panther. I read him. You know, it came at great personal cost. It's worth billions. Banned from the nation for stealing vibranium, Claw will seek the help of some other supervillains to help take down T'Challa. You get to decide what kind of king you are going to be. L is for Lupita Nyong'o. From Star Wars to Marvel, Lupita Nyong'o is making her impact on the sci-fi world. In Black Panther, the award-winning actress plays Nakia, a dedicated warrior to the Black Panther whose words of wisdom may transform into a little bit of an obsession. I am king. Not the Black Panther! The Black Panther is no more! 
You are wrong, M'Baku. The Black Panther challenges you for the throne of Wakanda. M is for Man-Ape. After eating the blood and flesh of a white gorilla, Man-Ape transforms into a powerful beast looking to overtake the Wakanda throne and turn the nation back to its roots. In the film, the Man-Ape name isn't used. He is referred to only as his real name, M'Baku. Vengeance has consumed you. He's consuming them. I'm done letting it consume me. N is for Nightshade. Nightshade is an extremely smart scientist and villainous character who has taken on the likes of Captain America and Luke Cage. She will appear in Black Panther, most likely by Eric Killmonger's side. Also, look for her in Season 2 of the Netflix Luke Cage series. But your strength is no match for the Prince of Asgard! I do not know why strong men always boast so but it makes it much more satisfying when they fall. O is for Okoye. As the leader of the Dora Milaje, Okoye is often by T'Challa's side. But don't worry, she's all business. Don't expect any romance here. The living are not done with you yet. P is for Panther God. T'Challa's power and rise to glory is all thanks to the Panther God. The powerful God gives him the strength and ability to serve as the Black Panther. My son, it is your time. Q is for Queen Ramonda. When T'Challa's mother dies giving birth, Queen Ramonda steps in to be his stepmother and raises him. Once T'Challa becomes the king of Wakanda, he appoints Queen Ramonda as the Queen Mother. This is Everett Ross, Deputy Task Force Commander. What about a lawyer? Lawyer, it's funny. See, their weapons are placed in a lockup. I better not look out the window and see anybody flying around in that. R is for Ross. Everett Ross is a rare citizen who has been to Wakanda and serves as one of Black Panther's closest friends and allies in the United States. Played by Martin Freeman, he has already made an appearance in Captain America Civil War. Do you know what happens to a toad when it's struck by lightning? Same thing that happens to everything else. S is for Storm. In Marvel Comics, T'Challa falls in love with and marries Storm of the X-Men. Now, with the 20th Century Fox and Disney deal set in place, Storm could find her way back into T'Challa's life on the big screen. I realize you're not one for politics. I think there's a chance you may be a bit naive. Congratulations, Your Highness. He got extradition. Yes, he's Romanov. I'm shocked I have much to then. T is for T'Challa. T'Challa has a lot going against him in Black Panther. Along with coping with the death of his father, he must fight against Man-Ape, deal with Claw, and has a confrontation with Killmonger. And get this man a shield. Oh yeah, could he be hiding Captain America among the Wakanda caves as well? You Avengers must stay as our guests. Allow us to show you Wakandan hospitality. Black Panther, could you ever see yourself joining the Avengers? One step at a time, my friends. U is for Ultimates. Black Panther has helped out the Avengers on multiple occasions, but in recent years he has been part of the group known as the Ultimates. Teaming up with characters like Blue Marvel and Miss Marvel, the team helped take Thanos down during Civil War II. Vibranium is stronger than steel and a third the weight. It's completely vibration absorbent. That's the rarest metal on Earth. V is for Vibranium. The alien-like metal is found in abundance in Wakanda and responsible for a number of their advanced technologies. Vibranium is used in Captain America's shield along with the sweet Black Panther suit T'Challa wears. Wakanda is an isolated nation, a private sanctuary, an independent kingdom that has thrived for thousands of years. W is for Wakanda. The African homeland of the Black Panther is filled with traditions, technology, and plenty of issues. It is not only the center of conflict in Black Panther, but will likely come into play when Thanos begins his war in the next Avengers movie. And we stand together. X-Men. All of us. X is for X-Men. Black Panther has fought against many heroes throughout the years. Multiple times he has defeated Wolverine in combat, and it will be interesting to see how the X-Men play into the future of the Black Panther franchise. So you like cats, Sam? What? Duke shows up dressed like a cat, you don't want to know more? Y is for Yellow Eyes. In many versions of the Black Panther, the hero character features yellow eyes, much like the real animal. For the MCU version, the eyes are all white, fitting into the costume design and creating a more modern style. In my culture, death 
It's not the end. It's more of a stepping off point. Z is for zombies. Black Panther's powers also includes the ability to communicate with the dead. Don't expect zombies to start marching their way through the Black Panther movie, but he's not referred to as the King of the Dead for no reason. We haven't met yet. I'm Clint. I don't care. And there you have it. Are you excited for the Black Panther movie? What do you want to see in the film? Who's your favorite Marvel hero? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to Screen Rant on YouTube so you can stay up to date with our awesome videos.